But I want to jump to this next story because this one makes me uh, it gives me a hearty chortle. John Levine reports reporters covering Elon Musk being nuked. Dania Sullivan for CNN, Drew Harwell for Washington Post, Ryan Mack for The New York Times, and Aaron Roop are independent, all gone. Awesome. Love They're it. They're gone. Take Love a look it. at this. So uh, Libs of TikTok says Taylor Lorenz just scrubbed her entire Twitter account. What? <laughs> oh, me. Oh, my. Times, they are a changing. Love it. Prominent liberal journalist Aaron Rupar suspended by Twitter. Mm. For those that aren't familiar with uh, Aaron Rupar, there's a verb. It's called uh, Ruparing or to Rupar. Yeah. And it's when you take an out of context clip and apply false context to manipulate people. Yeah. That is Ruparing. So uh, he got nuked. And I think we have a tweet here. Yashir Ali says, Aaron Rupar tells me he has not received any correspondence from Twitter and does not know why his account is suspended. I believe Rupar is the guy that sued. Didn't he sue the previous Twitter administration to get his Rupar? account back? Or no. am I thinking of a different Somebody guy? Get, someone else. Who's that they, guy? they would never suspend that guy. Yeah. I'm wondering if the reason they got suspended was for posting something pertaining to his location. Hmm. I don't know for sure, but Elon just the other day posted a video of a guy who attacked his, his family, yep. his kid. Who looked, who looked like an Antifa guy. Yep. He was dressed like one, Total acting like clock. one. Yeah. Conservatives don't do that. Conservative guy, in fact, I got to be honest. I put out that tweet where I was like, Neuralink was, I used to think it was scary and dangerous, but then Elon agreed with me ideologically, now I like it. Yeah. Like, the, I got, I, I'd be willing to bet anyone on the right who's crazy enough to track down Musk would be like, we love you, Elon. Of course. Keep it up. Oh, yeah. You always got false flags. Can never truly yep. judge a book by its cover. Like, he did own, books he did like own a speechless. car. <laughs> That's true. You know, and it was not it was it was not a bad car. So I mm -hmm. yeah. that's the one wrinkle in the, in the <laughs> argument here. Some kind of wealth asset. But it's great. Um, I don't I don't care at all. So, you know, I don't want to hear this. Well, you know, we're we thought Elon was going to be the free speech absolutist. And now he's suspending. No, I, I didn't. I don't know. I'm not a free speech absolutist. I, I believe in standards and norms. And you know what I really believe in? Banning these left-wing losers. And I really believe, especially banning that guy who was tracking Elon's plane. That guy's gone. Right. But the rest of them, too. I see absolutely no reason for Elon Musk to tolerate them remaining on Twitter. How do you define free speech? Well, I, I define free speech as uh, the, <laughs> I define free speech, I suppose, as the founding fathers might have defined free speech, which is, or even as John Locke, the father of liberalism, might have defined free speech, which is not totally free, which is, yes, we have broad <clears throat> toleration for lots of different things, but there are limits, and there are pretty severe limits. I mean, let's not forget, we're not only talking about speech acts like fraud or direct threats or obscenity or things like that. People, a lot of people don't even think of obscenity these days as something not protected by free speech. But I would go further than that, all right? We, we, yes, it's true that the libs have speech codes, but chivalry is a speech code too, you know, and I'm all for chivalry. I'm all for banning people who, who are uh, de degrading our society. I mean, you know, just as a, a matter of historical fact, speech earlier on in American history was much more restricted in certain ways than it is right now. It, there, we had blasphemy laws for much yeah, of American obscenity history. obscenity laws. And obscenity. We still have obscenity laws on the books. Yeah. They just don't enforce them. Now, in fact, now they only enforce it if you have wholesome speech. If you, if you speak obscenely, then you get to do it. That's yeah. why I say culture is more important because mm -hmm. we got a ton of laws on the books they started ignoring. Personally, I, I disagree because who 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 do you decide who's degrading society with what ideas? I think if there's bad well, with, ideas, with your reason yeah. and your moral conscience and tradition. Yeah, yeah, but who's going to be calling the shots here? I think the that's people important with the power. here. Uh, exactly, and power uh, corrupts. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. But and when it comes, have it. but when it comes to bad ideas, they need to be challenged with good ideas. I think we need open debate. I think we need open conversation. And I'm very curious to see what happened here. And I'm more skeptical because I believe at the end of the day, even though we might might not agree with each other, I still rather have that conversation rather than say. I just only want to hear myself. Do 